We're going to be doing um, speed limits, keep an eye on them really. So when we're driving along, we're keeping on them 30 zones, 20 zones, 40 zones, 50 zones, whatever we come across, we're going to keep an eye on them speeds, what you should be looking for on the roads, where you can spot speed limits, and um, I'm hoping it helps you to improve, improve your driving and keep within them limits. So let's get driving then. And what we're going to be covering today is um, speed limits. Spotting them, keeping within the speed limit, try to give you a few little tips along the way. It was asked by a subscriber, could you do a video on this because they struggle with keeping on the speeds, spotting speeds. How do you change? So we're in the 30 zone at the moment and um, there's, 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 there's lots of things you can do to spot them but I'll just try and make it a little bit easier spotting things so, and I'll, I'll just look for the sign to start with. So at the end of the road, we're going to be going left. And um, a little little rule would be, if if you're in the 30 zone, you're not going to get many repeater signs reminding you. Um, we're in a built-up area, lampposts are fairly, fairly close. You know, houses are fairly close to the road. And um, looking ahead of us, you know, at the moment, I'm in second gear. I can see the traffic slowing down. I'm just going to say what I'm, what's happening, but really we're working on speed limits. So as soon as you join a new road, look at what's in front of you straight away and look right up the road for what's going on, not just the traffic, but what signs are going to help you. So a good example is, we come around the bend, and I'm looking ahead of me, I've got a mini roundabout and a sign beyond it. Now that looks like a 20 sign to me. Um, as it comes in focus, it's a 20. So straight away it's telling you the 20 zone starting. So I'm looking at what's going on, slowing down, yeah definitely 20 zone, dropping down to second gear, second gear is ideal for 20 zones, third gear is going to push you over, so that's the first little tip, don't think oh I can pop it in third gear, because uh, what you're going to do is 25 mile an hour before you know it. I mean I'm using a 1400 engine at the moment, so obviously it depends on the size of the engine, but most of them will probably do it. I'm in second gear, and the reason why I don't want third gear, if it starts to go a bit quicker, getting towards 18, 19, the engine gets a little bit quite louder, so I can spot the, the noise, can hear it more. So I'm doing 18 mile an hour in second gear, in a 20 zone, and the other thing also is as you go over a hill, check your speed. So if you're really bad at holding the speed limit under 30 or 20, then I reckon every 10, 15 seconds glance and look back at the road I don't stare just glance at it if you're staring you're gonna have an accident just glance at your speedometer so we're gonna go left at the roundabout and because it's gonna go down because it's gonna go downhill I'm gonna watch that speed otherwise I'm gonna go fast checks me right I keep him waiting him. pops it in first gear and waiting so remember as soon as I move off I'm gonna pick up speed pretty quickly there we go so I'm bringing it round, and as soon as I get straight, back in second gear, glance at my speedometer. I'm doing 12 miles an hour at the moment, which is fine, because I can only go as fast as the car in front of me. Sometimes you go slow, watching out for lights changing, people are stood by the pedestrian crossing. Speed bumps are there to help slow you down, so if there wasn't speed bumps, there's more of a risk of going too fast, so the speed bumps are actually helping you. So that's another little tip, the speed bumps are there to help you. Use them, don't just ignore them. And then I can see ahead of me is another roundabout and I'm keeping my eye on speed, I'm doing 15 miles an hour, slowing down for the speed, speed bump and mini roundabout. And I'm checking to my right, it's clear. Like I say, as soon as you're entering a new road or you feel like there's nothing to do, look up the road, look up what's happening. Pedestrian crossing, look beyond the pedestrian crossing, a mini roundabout sign warning you. There's a roundabout sign coming up. And then the distance is another warning of a speed limit change. So it's going to 30. So it's just recognising these things. Because if you don't, you, you're going to miss them. You're looking at the car in front of you, and you've got to say, look at the road at the same time, look beyond the car. Look at your speedometer. I'm doing 18, slowing down. You know, it's telling you the 30 zone start, 20 zone ends. So I'm clutching it for the car. He's going to turn on me on the roundabout, pop it in first gear. There's a car behind him who's fairly close. I'm going to wait a second. And it's nice and clear, back on the gas, lifting the clutch to the biting point, moving off slowly, back to second gear. Now, so that's, you know, second gear, 20 zones helps. 
I'm in a 30 zone, I'm back to third gear now, and it's easy to go over 30. It's fairly flat. So look at the road, nothing telling us, no sign changes apart from a left turn is telling us. Um, I'm doing 25 miles an hour. So I'm doing a reasonable speed, because that's what you've got to say, you've got to do reasonable. Warning sign for mini roundabout, and a give way sign for the mini roundabout. So I'm slowing down to give way to the right. So I'm braking, checking, and I'm gonna carry on going. So it's still a 30, there's nothing changing, you know? I've got a speed camera on the left, so that's going to another reason why you don't want to get a speeding fine because if you're driving, even if you're learning and you're all driving, you're still liable for the speeding fine because you're the one driving the car. The person in the passenger seat is responsible to keep an eye on things and make sure you do things safely and, and within the law. So they'll probably tell you anyway, but it's up to you to keep an eye on it. So we've got another warning sign of a give way. So remember, at the moment, I'm looking for speed limit changes. At the moment, there's nothing, so it's still further. I'm slowing down, keeping on my speed. So when you suddenly get an open road, that's when you start speeding up and you, you don't think to check your speed. All you're thinking of is, I'll catch up with a car. And what you should be saying to yourself is, keeping on my speed. So I'm gonna go ahead at the roundabout. And I'm looking at the road as a car come across me on the right. So I'm slowing down, dropping second gear. Tuck in behind him. Give a little bit of space, two second gap. I've got warning signs, temporary road works, and a warning sign of a pedestrian crossing traffic lights. Back to third gear, clear the car humming. So remember, if you're in 20 zone, keep it second, 30 zone, keep it in third. Don't pop it in fourth, because it's gonna push you over, unless you've got a really small engine that really needs to go in higher gear. But do keep an eye on your speeds. I'm doing 27 miles an hour. It's a nice, clear road. That car ahead of me is pulling away. I'm doing 30 mile an hour, they're pulling away. So if you see a car pulling away from you, glance at your speed. A little another tip, don't just assume it's right. I'm gonna go ahead at the roundabout. So check what's happening. Start slowing down. It's another reason they don't break the speed limit. You're slowing down to be safe. Dropping down a second gear. Lift and cut slowly. In the distance is warning there's a speed limit change. 40 mile an hour. See, you sometimes get speed limit changes on the approach and roundabout and coming off. So I could see it before the roundabout, back to third gear. So I'm in the 40 zone, but I'm not gonna get to 40, I'm doing 35. There's a traffic lights, there's a little reminder, a little repeater on the left, so they're a bit smaller. So anything above 30, 40, 50, that's speed limit 60, 70, you're gonna get repeater zones. There are little mini versions of the speed limit. So they're not in your face. So the sense also it, the right side there. Now, if you're not sure about the speed limit, you could look down the side road, and that said 30 down there then, so this is at least 40. So I'm bombing along, I'm doing 41, so I'm just lifting off the gas a little bit. Back down to 40. Speed limit's going to 50 now. So I'm not trying to hit 50, I'm keeping a safe gap from the car in front of me. Now if they were going really slow, like 30 mile an hour, then I might be tempted to go past them if it was safe. So I'm in fifth gear doing 49 miles an hour now. So let them chance to build the speed up. I'm looking ahead of me, not looking at the first car, looking beyond the first car, the second car, see what the signs are in the distance. That's how far away you should be looking. If you're looking right in front of you, you're gonna miss signs because I say every time you're looking ahead, there's a speed limit change, 40 miles an hour. Checking, lifting off the gas, dropping back down to 39. Ahead of us, got some temporary lights, sorry, permanent lights. We're gonna go ahead, so we need a left one saying green going on. But it might change, so I'm not gonna go too fast. I'm in anticipation of the, the, the lights changing. A bit more power now, back up to 37. Repeaters are on the left, so they're trying to help you by telling you the speed limits. When you come to a built up area, lots of things going on, you could miss the sign. So you gotta, when you come around the corner, look around ahead of yourself all the time. So I'm hoping it helps you. If it's giving you help, give it the thumbs up, this video. If it's helping you think about speed limits, so look at the road, keep an eye on your speed all the time. I say, if, you, if you're not very good at holding your speed, remember these things. There's another speed limit change, 30. We've got some traffic lights ahead of us on crossroads, so we're gonna go ahead. So I'm slowing myself down. In fact, we'll go left. So there'll be a speed couple of changes. I'm gonna go left here. So there'll be a bit more to do down this area. 
So we're in 30 now at this point. Now it's telling you 30, which means that at this point it's 30, but if, if I turn left or right, it might change. So I'm looking down the road for speed limit changes. Don't just assume that it's gonna be always 30. It could be 30, the road ahead. So when you turn left or right onto road or when you emerge onto a road, then remember to look at the what's in front of you straight away and then look in the distance for tips to help you, signs. They're all, they're all there to give you help and advice. So I'm just waiting for the lights to change. I'm in first gear. Don't be quick off the mark because that car in front of you might stall. Hold the clutch, take me time. And remember, the closer you get to the car, the more it's going to distract you. So as I'm turning, I'm looking up the road. I'm looking through the side window. At the moment, I can't see a sign, so it's staying at 30. I'm going to go left. Mirror signal left. And straight away, national speed limit going up to 60 miles an hour. So it's telling you. So as I come off the roundabout, it told me straight away. So I'm building that speed up. And I'm going to take the next left turn. I'm in fifth gear at the moment, doing 50 miles an hour. So it's reasonable. And if I look ahead of me, there's probably going to be a repeater sign somewhere. A little in your face somewhere. Anyway, we're taking the next left turn. So, checking our mirrors, signaling left. As I'm coming in, bring that speed down in the, the, in the mini deceleration lane or the slip road, dropping down to second gear at this point, doing 15 miles an hour. Checking what's going on. As soon as I turn, speed limit change again. If you're not looking, you'll see it's a straight in front of you as soon as you turn, straight away, and then look at the road. And it was there straight away telling you. So, I might not get a repeater sign, but it's further. It's a built up area, it's an estate, think like that. Some estates are 20 mile an hour, so do keep an eye on it. So as soon as you enter, look at what's in front of you and then look at the road, that'll help you. And then because it's a 30 zone, every now and then glance at your speedometer. Because it's so easy, especially if you've been doing fast roads, to go over the speed limit. So keep an eye on your speeds. Because if you don't keep an eye on your speeds, all you're gonna do is be doing 35 mile an hour before you realize it's going to be a nightmare for you then because you're going to get a, a speeding ticket or if you're going to get if you're on your dry test you'll fail your test so i'm looking ahead of us some more signs there of the school so i'm just checking my speed make sure i'm not going too fast because even though it's a 30 zone i don't want to be doing 30 if the kids are coming out i want to be going slower you know because kids are going to be more likely to run across the road so appropriate speeds for, for where it is is important it's not always the maximum speed maximum speed is a, it's not a target Keep it under that. Keep your speed 25 miles an hour. Cruising along. That's it. Going fine. So I'm just following it down here. And we'll get out of this estate back onto um, some other roads, do some more speed limit changes. So, like I say, I'm hoping the video is giving you ideas. So I'm, I'm regular checking my speed here. And they put speed bumps in place. There's a roundabout. We'll do a right turn. Get out of this area, so it's mirrors, signaling, dropping down to second gear, giving way to my right. Now remember, as soon as you enter the road, check your speed. Look at look ahead of you. So, so now I'm turning straight away. Rather than look at what's in front of you, look straight away, it's national speed limit. So it's at least 60 miles an hour. I'm gonna be doing a right turn. Because if you're doing fast rolls, slow rolls, it's easy for you to miss a speed limit if you're not paying attention. Bring myself closer. And I know it's the Nash speed limit, so you've got to remember that. You remember what it's telling you. Because if you're getting distracted waiting for the waiting for the uh, the gap in the, the road to get out, you've just got to be patient and say, so, right, well the road I'm gonna go on, Nash speed limit, so it's, it's a single track road, so it's 60 miles an hour. I'm just waiting for that safe gap because they're going fast. And I've got a bit of a hill here, so I've got a disadvantage straight away. It's gonna take a bit hard to get out. So I'll keep checking, keep looking. There's a gap on the left in the distance. There's a gap on the, no, nope, no gap on the right. So I'll keep checking. And that's, sometimes you're like that, you've got to wait patiently. Don't force your way out, it's dangerous. Still gap on the left. Half this white car, there's a gap on the right. So, national speed limit, 60 miles an hour. I 
Now remember, if if on shore, look down side road. So if I look to the right and left, and two roads on my right and left there, that says 30, that says 30, it's at least 40 on this big road. See how, how wide the road is? See, see, see how high the lampposts are? Pretty high, you know, compared to ones up in little side streets. So I'm doing 50 mile an hour, popping it in fifth gear at this point, cruising along. And remember, as soon as you come off a road, look up the straight in front of you and then look in the distance, gives you an idea of the what signs, what speed limits are, and um, keep an eye on your speed, you know. And remember, so if you're doing lots of fast roads and then you go to a slow road and the fast road, is keep, you've got to keep an eye on things because you will get caught out if you don't be careful. At the roundabout, we're going to do a right turn. So as we get closer, we're checking, signalling, and slowing ourselves down. See so the speed limit straight away there, saying 30. And if you don't pay attention, you'll miss it. If you're looking at what's happening in a roundabout before you get there, I'm slowing down. So we know it's 30 at some point. It's telling us. So when we come off the roundabout, it's possibly going to be 30. It might be more. So we're going to be checking for speed limit. So we check your mirrors, signalling. Now there's no speed limit come off the roundabout, so it's got to be 30 here. Yeah, nothing telling us. We're going to do a right at the traffic lights, the crossroads. So it's a 30 zone at the moment, because there's nothing to anything else. It's a built up area. There's lots of tra lots of traffic in, in one area, so it's going to be fairly slow. I'm waiting. Now I know it's 30. Now I'm looking down the road, straight away, it's helping me. I look down the right there, and I can see a good 50 meters and I can see in the distance saying 40. So if you're waiting, rather than just stare at the dashboard, have a look where you want to go. See if it, any signs are going to help you. Another little tip, look down the road you want to go into before you can get there, if you can. Obviously if you haven't got that luxury because you reach the lights to change, then as soon as you turn to the road, look at what's in front of you, look at the road again. So we're just going to wait for the lights to change. I think we're going to be after the one on the left, possibly. So you're just going to be patient, keep an eye in front of you. Now, if you're not sure about traffic lights with crossroads on, then I'll put a link, you know, turning right on them. It will help you. So there's a link below, a little, little card for you. Here we go. I've got the green light and the green arrow, so everything's waiting in front of me. As I'm turning, I'm looking at what's in front of me, nothing. Look in the distance, 40 zone. I knew it was there because I could see it when I was waiting. But these sort of things you've got to do, so I'm building my speed up, I'm 30 mile an hour, now I'm building it past there now. Remember, don't go to 40 until you get there, that's breaking the speed limit. So keep it at 30 until you pass it, that's another little tip for you. People think they can speed up when they see the speed limit change going up ahead of them. No, you're still in this, that 30 zone until I pass it. So I'm doing 38 miles an hour, cruising along. And the same again, I'm just looking ahead of myself, lights on green, don't be doing too fast, keep what's happening behind me so I know what's going on. Because if I need to slow down and stop, I can brake because that car's quite far away. And in the distance, I can see it's going up to 50. Remember, I'm not going past 50, I'm looking at my speed. Temptation is to hit the gas there, isn't it? But you don't want to do that because you're going to break the speed limit. Wait, be patient. Then check your mirrors and then speed up. To a reasonable speed. I'm doing 48, 49 miles an hour now. It's a nice clear road. But keep an eye on it. Temptation is to go faster because it's clear and then straight. If you don't, you're going to be doing 55. So watch your speedometer. As you go down the hill, keep an eye on your speedometer. Look ahead of me, 40. Check my rear view mirrors, side mirrors, and just lift off the gas, gently braking, bringing it back down. Because if you don't realise, you're going to shoot past that because you've seen it late. 38 miles an hour. At the traffic lights, the crossroads, we're going to do a right turn. So I'm hoping these, uh, all these speed limit changes and what I'm thinking and what I'm looking at is helping you to um, keep an eye on your speed. So you've got to look at the road a lot. You've got to keep an eye on your speed a lot. So I'm doing a right turn, going into the state. There's a good chance it's going to go down to 30, but I'm just going to give way to that car in the middle. Because I haven't got the green arrow, I've got the green light, which means give way to oncoming cars if it's not clear. And I'm turning now. As I'm turning, I can see straight away it's 30. See it on the sign there? Because if you're not paying attention, you're going to miss that. And it's not going to repeat it. It's going to just 
that point there it's going to say 30 and that point there you're expecting it street lamps are a lot lower and I'm just pulling over somewhere safe So I hope you like the video and if this is helping you and you're thinking it's, it's making a big difference, feel free to watch it again, feel free to share it with your friends and uh, put a comment below of what sort of videos you want to see. Um, it could be I've already got the video in which case I might put a link for it for you. Take care, safe driving and be good on the roads.